and subscribe. Like, share, and subscribe. Like, share, and subscribe. Like, share. Hello, everyone. Pro Drum Tech drummer and YouTube educator Kenny Sherritt is coming to you from White Room Studios in Austin, Texas to talk to you about some tips and tricks that I'm learning along the way while recording drums for the brand new Yamaha EAD. Now, if you haven't seen this unit, let me just back up here and let you take a peek at this little beautiful bad boy right here, this little beautiful bad boy right here. If you haven't seen these, go check them out. They're a lot of fun. But one of the things I'm experimenting today with is something I haven't seen anybody talk about and it would kind of make sense that I talk about, which is utilizing tom tuning intervals to get better sounds or different sounds out of your EAD recordings. Now, some of the tricks and tips I'm using on this is I've, I've really set this kick to be open and big to get the most sound I can get out of that EAD microphone. I do have triggers to track on this and there'll be another video where I talk about that. But I have a nice calf tone on the front from Evans uh, to get that textured sound and really kind of give some boom thrown back into the drum so this EAD has something to sink its teeth into. And then I've tuned this drum to an inverted third, i.e. this is the third above, this is the tonic below. So this mic can get the sound going down into the microphone. And this drum I've tuned to a perfect fourth, where the bottom head is a perfect fourth above this head, so that the, mic's, the, the mic picks up the sound of the drum's sound coming up. So I'm kind of like, bringing the tom sounds via intervals together to the microphone and seeing what happens. And then I'm gonna do one with these both at perfect force and see what that sounds like. And see what these two drastic differences in, my, in tom interval tunings can affect this EAD microphone. So let's check it out and play a beat with some tom fills. Let's go. That's a lot of bite coming off that 12, but it thuds out and drops out like an old 70s tom. Okay, so next we have this 12-inch tom, which has been tuned to a perfect fourth. And since so many people on the, on the web have asked me uh, what it's like to have these DW toms tuned to the note of the drum or the note that's inside the shell, this is actually tuned to a D and a G. It's a G inside the shell, it's a perfect fourth. This is a D on top, this is a G on bottom. Nice and clean, rich and warm, a little bit thicker because now the sound's coming up away from the mic and getting that beautiful bottom end out of the tom but still getting some le a little tighter resonance. Also this snare right here, not as much snare bus. Done. And that's one of the things I want you to check out in my video coming out soon. Ways to control sympathetic snare bus in your kit for your EAD recording. Until then, let's get a beat on. All right, now I find this tuning actually really clean for the EAD, so surprisingly, uh, tuning where the sound goes up actually helps it. That kind of cleans up the microphone, allows the bass drum and the snare to speak real well, keeps a lot of snare resonance from going down into the drum, and, or tom resonance going into the drum, causing sympathetic snare buzz, and so the mic catches less of it. I hope you enjoyed this tip. There'll be more tips coming for the EAD soon, as well as ways to use your kit in the studio and tune your kit for your home recordings in ways that really work well with this unit. Like, share, and subscribe. Like, share, and subscribe. Like, share, and subscribe. Like, share.